In this video, I show you how to download and install Discord on your Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end to so the full download and install process and you also go over any issues you may have as well. So let's go and get straight into the Mac. The first step is to go and open up a web browser. So personally, I use Google Chrome, but by default, you may be using Safari, but it doesn't really matter. So let's go and open this up. So I've got a Chrome tab here. Then all you want to do is come to a search engine or you can just search in the top bar, it doesn't really matter. And all you want to do is go and search for Discord. Now do keep watch, so I'm showing the official Discord site and then how you can go and install it as well. So make sure you end up at discord.com and here we are. So as you can see, we've gone and got this download button for Mac just here. So go and click on it and then it's gonna go and drop the download. Now Safari and Chrome do look a bit different when you're downloading files. For example, inside of Chrome, it's appearing in the bottom left, but in Safari, there's gonna be a drop down in the top right, or you can just go and find it in your downloads folder as well. So as you can see, it is around 150 megabytes. So wait for this to finish and I'll catch up with you once it has. Now you need to go and find the DMG file. So you can just open up from your browser, but otherwise you need to go and open up your finder down here and then you can go to your downloads folder and you'll find the discord.dmg there. However, I actually went to move mine onto my desktop just for this guide. So once you've gone and got the DMG, go and double click on it just like so. And then you're gonna go and get this pop up here saying it's opening and verifying it. And you've just got to wait for it to do this. It does a few sort of basic security checks on it. And then here we've gone and got the Discord logo and our applications folder. So to go and install it, what you need to do is go and drag Discord into applications just like so. And you go and get that green plus, go and let go and then it's gonna go and move it in. As you can see, it's now saying copying Discord to applications. So all you've got to do is wait for it to do this. And once it's gone and finished that, you can then go into your applications and go and look for Discord, or you can go and click on Launchpad as well. And then you want to go and double click on it just like so. And here we go, Discord is now launching. So you can close off of the applications folder. So it's now gonna go and verify, we can close off there. It's gonna verify again as we've just installed it. And then what Discord is gonna go and do, it's actually gonna go and download a few more files. It's essentially we only downloaded the Discord installer and now it's gonna do sort of make sure it's all fully up to date and everything like that. So I've just gone and got this pop up here saying Discord is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I'm gonna go and click open just like so. And then as I said, Discord is gonna have this starting logo. And then in a moment, it's probably gonna do some downloads and some installs as well. And here we go, Discord is now opened up and you can go and sign in. However, I know some people are gonna go and have issues with security reasons on their Mac. So if you have that, all you want to do is either go and use the pop-up which appears on the screen, or you need to go and open up your system preferences just like so, and then you need to go to security and privacy and click here and it's gonna take a moment to load. And then you're gonna probably go and get sort of a pop-up saying um, Discord has requested something or maybe it'd be under firewall or firewall. But what will happen is it's gonna say like Discord has required permission and you'll have to go and enter your password and go and allow it. Um, and that's basically just how you have to do it. And then it's Discord should go and run fine. However, Apple are normally fairly good at explaining what you have to do to go and fix the issue. And there we go, I'm now gonna sign in. And here I am inside of Discord. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, leave a like, peace.